Well, hey guys, Captain Cook here. So glad you could join me. Today, what we're looking at is how pompano rigs work. You know, they got the float on them. Um, so that's generally that's what a pompano rig is. It's got nice floats on it, some circle hooks, and um, I guess, you know, different colors work at different times. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna step outside to our um, test um, aquarium or our, our <laughs> we got a big ass thing of water out there and we're going to go show y'all guys what it looks like and what a pompano rig does and we'll talk about it while we're in there uh, we're also going to show you a non pompano rig we're going to show you a whiting rig with no floats on it just a bead and the difference and a couple other things now there are some uh there are there are a couple of things like this what we're doing now is probably not what's going to happen when you're out surf fishing there are a lot of variables so we'll talk about these variables and uh we'll, we'll also talk about um a few other things while we're in there all right so guys step outside we'll get it going All right, guys, so here we go. Um, now, you can see this float. This is store-bought, but this rig is homemade. I made this rig, but I bought these floats and put on here. And you can see what the pompano rig does. So it, it, it kind of floats the bait out and up. Now, some of the variables I was talking about, when you're surf fishing, you're not going to be vertical like this line is you're probably going to be at around a 45 degree angle so that's going to put your bait closer to the bottom but it's going to float it up so that was you know one of the variables I'm talking about you know you you may use this you're fishing off a dock or straight drop off of a pier you'll probably you know you'll probably have something like this but if you're surf fishing no, you're not going to be like this. Your your line's probably going to be at a 45 degree angle or better. So what these uh, the pompano rigs are designed to do is float that bait up. So when you're laying at this 45 degree angle, your bait's not laying right on the bottom because you get a lot of uh, you get a lot of customers you you don't want to have around crabs and and. Uh, you can say pinfish, but pinfish don't particularly have a water column they feed in. They feed everywhere. But this will keep it out of crabs, away from crabs. And, and crabs can swim up too. But this is what the, the pompano rig does. It floats the bait up. And like I said, this is a store-bought float. This is a homemade rig. I tied everything on here and just bought these floats. They're already painted and all that good stuff. Uh, I'll buy just white floats and paint them myself, you know, different colors and trying different things. So, as you can see, like I mentioned, um, the way it floats it up, and we're just, guys, we're just in a giant barrel. Now, what we're looking at is actually 3D printed floats I made myself. And man they they float great I mean even better than the store bought ones and uh, I put a lot into making these things and you know so many colors I can do it's just it's, it's just there's no limit to what colors you can do you can see how it floats the bait floats it up very well I uh, just got a little and don't get on me because I don't have it clipped on because you know we're not we're not talking something's going to happen but got a little two ounce weight just to hold it down and uh, you can see these things work well they work really well they float it higher than that, that store bought one now I've got I've got fish bites on here I think crab flavor and man look at the flavor look at the stuff coming off of it you can just see the the scent you know just just coming off of the uh, of the fish bites that's uh that's very cool very cool to see how that scent's coming off of the those uh those fish bites 
Yeah, guys, very proud of these uh, 3D printed floats I made. A lot of work went into these prototypes right here to make sure they would float. They wouldn't, you know, I, I, I did a lot of testing on them to make sure they wouldn't absorb water. Um, now we're looking at this is just a simple a whiting rig, one drop whiting rig, no floats, and just a bead. So you can see how the bait is just laid down. And you know, like the variables we talked about, if, if you're surf fishing, of course that line is going to be laid over at a 45 degree angle. So that is going to be very close to the bottom. Uh, because, you know, look at a whiting's mouth. You know, look at their mouth. They, they're bottom feeders. So this is going to put your bait very close to the bottom, and you may, you know, you may run into that critter you don't want to because your bait's so close to the bottom. But whiting being a bottom feeder, that's where you're going to you're going to find them. And they they'll also guys I have caught many whiting on pompano rigs, and sharks on pompano rigs, and blues on pompano rigs. So they're they're not just made for pompano; they're made for a lot of other stuff. But yeah, guys, so you can, you can see that scent coming off of that, that piece of bait there. All right, let's pop back in. All right, guys, so there you go. Uh, you, 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 you've just seen how Pompano uh, rigs work, how they float the baits up. They, they keep them out of the range of, you know, some of those critters you don't want getting hold of, those crabs and those bottom feeders. Uh, but, you know, what's to say a bottom feeder can't come up and not feed on the bottom? But one thing that caught my eye as we were using these fish bites, and you could actually see because there was no current in there, there was nothing moving around, you could see how the fish bites and how that, that scent was, you know, rising up off of it. So I'd like to do another test with the fish bites and fish gum and, and seeing if you can actually see that, if you can actually visibly see that scent coming off of the fish the fish gum. But guys, that's what I got. Now you see what pompano rigs do. They they float. And uh very proud of the the floats I actually three D printed. Man, they did actually better than floats you can buy. Uh, a lot of work went into those floats, a lot, because they're hollow. It took a lot, you know, where that line passes through, you just couldn't put a hole in one end, a hole in the other, because it's going to fill with water. So there's actually a tube that goes through there that keeps it waterproof and, and makes them float. And I can do those in any color I want. Any color in the rainbow, I can do them in. And these are some that, some of the first prototypes I did. But guys, now you see what Pompano rigs do. Thank you guys for joining me. You guys, take care. Take care of each other. Be sure to join me next time. And I will definitely catch you guys later.